Hi. Today we are going to talk about an underrated web application for generating images from text captions. It uses a deep learning text to image model called Stable Diffusion, which was released this year 2022. Stable Diffusion itself has been a remarkable breakthrough, allowing high quality images with fine grain detail be generated from simple text captions. Moreover, it covers a very wide range of topics, having been trained on an extremely diverse dataset. So, the tool we are covering today is called Mage.Space. It's similar to other stable diffusion clients around the net, but it has no limit on the prompts, allows inpinting, image to image and is unfiltered. Unfiltered meaning, it does not apply the NSFW filter to the images, meaning you can possibly get adult-related content, so you need to watch what you type. So, let's try a set of captions which cover landscapes, human beings, animals, the sky, and physical objects respectively. First, we are gonna try a caption to get an open field of wheat with a mountain in the background. You can also add an artist's name to ask the eye to draw it in that artist's style. In this case, I'll put Greg Rutkowski as his name is frequently used in these captions to get a fantasy-like art style with oil painting brush strokes. Yeah, you can see it looks almost exactly as described. More than one mountain has been generated, but it's expected as we haven't set a very strict guidance value. You can see here there are options to modify the image which involves inpinting, but we'll cover that later. There are also other options to change aspect ratio, quality of the image and the guidance scale of the model. However, we'll go with the default options for now. Now, let's try a caption of a human being. Let's try a man working in a factory with the styles Greg Rutkowski and Alphonse Mucha. I have heard that using Alphonse Mucha in the prompt works better with human beings. Wow, this is really detailed. You can see really complex structures in the background but it doesn't make much sense. Likewise, the man has tools but we don't know what he is doing. Perhaps we have to include that in the prompt. Regardless, the lighting and shadows are top notch. It's really neat what stable diffusion can do. Now let's try the same prompt, but with the woman, let's see what we get. We can see there are two women instead of one. This happens with a relaxed guidance scale. Also their faces are not very visible. Let's try to fix both these issues with a slight change in the prompt. There you go. The portrait word works well to identify one human being and make the face more detailed. Here, she looks pensive, but that's up to you to change using the prompt or inpinting. Moving on, we will also try animals. Let's try to picture a dog jumping on a trampoline. Okay, we got the dog itself but not the trampoline. As the model is randomized using a seed, perhaps another seed will have the trampoline. The dog also has an extra arm or tail which can be fixed with inpinting. Let's try adding a twist by replacing the trampoline with the moon.
Well, we have a nice fantasy style picture with us. There is a dog jumping. The moon but the cliff in the foreground is not needed. Thus is the nature of this model, it's quite random sometimes, and needs adjusting in the options to get ideal results. Next is the sky. Let's picture an evening sky with the sunset. It looks excellent. The cloud, reflections and the sun all in all look perfect here. Adding Greg Rutkowski causes the paint style to be applied, which makes it look a bit authentic. Finally, we have physical objects. Let's try a simple physical object like a basket of fruits and picture it on a table. Overall, it looks beautiful, and the basket itself looks perfectly woven. The fruits are well painted, but most of them appear to be apples or pomegranates. More specification is needed in the prompt regarding this. Let's twist it a bit and picture a basket of headphones instead. Yet again the basket looks perfect. The headphones are identifiable, along with the cable but it looks a bit abstract. Still, the distinct round shape of the headphones with the fabric and the cable makes it look convincing. Overall, based on these results which is a very small sample space, the eye focuses a lot on lighting and shading and requires tuning the options or inpinting to get specific results. Anyway, Mage.Space is a pretty neat demonstrator of what stable diffusion is capable of. Moreover, it doesn't have copyrights on the images as far as I know, so you can use your generated images commercially if you wish. Of course, repeating again, this is a very small sampling of what it can do, but it should give you an idea of what you can use it for. I look forward to see what you can generate with this nifty tool. The link is in the description. Have a good day.